Gregor Johann Mendel proposed that one pair of contrasting characters that is alleles do not mix or blend in a particular individual. Rather, they are separate from one another during the formation of gametes. This was the first postulate of Mendel's working on pea plants. Hello friends, welcome to Biology Concern. I am Animesh and in this video, I am going to discuss about the principle of segregation that is the first postulate of Mendel. So let's jump into the topic. Mendel's uh, working on pea plants and he identified some characteristic feature that is uh, responsible uh, for uh, some of the traits or expression of traits. He termed them as hereditary factor or this is also known as genes. So basically Mendel concluded that the genes or the hereditary factors works on particle like just like a particle and they do not mix or blend with each other but in the formation of gamete they are separated from one another this was his first postulate or uh, first uh, law so <clears throat> mendel proposed each pea plants contain two hereditary factor that is also known as genes and uh, for a given trait he argued that the gametes are formed the two genes behave like particles so the two genes behave like particles and separated from one another during the formation of gamete so whenever mendel worked on a pea plant so in the parental one generation he crossed the tall plant that is uh, consist capital t capital t so whenever he crossed this tall plant that is known as capital t capital t okay with the short one so basically this is the short one short plant so he observed in the f1 generation so in f1 that is the first filial generation he observed there is long plants and whenever he crossed those f1 into f1 so in the next time he crossed this f1 into f1 and he now get uh, 75 percent of the plant tall so 75 percent of the tall plants and 25 percent of the plants are short so basically 25 percent of the plants are short so whenever he observed those kind of phenomenon that means now you observe that this uh, f1 generation is organized as capital t small t and here we get small t small t 25 percent capital t capital t 25 percent and capital T small t 50 percent so all together these are 75 percent and this is the 25 percent so this is the uh, mono hybrid cross okay so this is the mono hybrid cross so in the mono hybrid cross he observed that the short character that is the small t uh, this short character reappears in the second generation but not in uh, the first generation so what are these uh, capital T and small t basically capital T denotes for their so this is the chromosome one from mother and one from father so capital T is the gene okay uh, so as for that small t is also a gene so small t also a gene so basically these genes are responsible but in the uh, f1 generation we have got 
capital T and small t because this small t and small t uh, or both of the chromosomes or capital T capital T both of the chromosomes they do not mix or blending uh, on one another but they are separated from one one another during the formation of gamete so whenever the formation of gamete we have got capital uh, small t here and capital T here so principle of segregation is highly associated with meiosis so when what is meiosis uh, done with the principle of segregation okay so uh, meiosis is associated with principle of segregation so here principle of segregation uh, in case of principle of segregation meiosis uh, plays a crucial role so in first stage uh, we have capital t okay so capital t i just uh, draw a different way so this is also a capital t because this capital t inherit from mother that is uh, and this capital t inherit weight inherit from father let's assume that this capital t inherit from father and this capital t inherit from mother so after replication done so after the replication occurs what is the main feature so this capital t uh, produces a copy so this capital t produce its copy also known as sister chromatids so just like that and this capital t also produces its copy that is sister chromatid right so in the both case they are actually uh, creating their copy and whenever meiosis 1 is done so in the form of meiosis 1 meiosis 1 they are actually separated into two gametes so after the completion of meiosis 1 we have now here capital t capital t and in the second gamete we got capital t capital t so after the completion of meiosis 2 so after the completion of meiosis 2 we now got four gametes now got four gametes one is capital t another one also is capital t because these two are uh, separated in both gametes and third one is also capital T and fourth one is also capital T. So, in the meiosis, both of the alleles are separated from each another and uh, they are well segregate. Okay. But in individual, like uh, the plant or like organism, they do not mix or blend. So, here in the uh, primin uh, germinal cell, so in the germinal cell, they do not mix or blend so what that is the gene so genes do not mix or blend so this is one parent right so this is one parent and in the second parent also we observed some kind of uh, work uh, same of the phenomenon that is one have small t and another another one also have small t okay right and after all of the process is gone so we have got four gametes after the completion of meiosis 2 we have got four gametes so two are small t small t and rest of two is small t 
So, in the both cases uh, or in the germinal cells, uh, these uh, alleles or hereditary factor, they do not mix or blend up, okay. Rather, they are separated from one another during the formation of gametes. If we consider the small t, small t uh, individual is the uh, P1 generation individual, then these uh, alleles do not mix or blend in this uh, individual, okay, or short parent. This is the short parent, but rather they separate from each other and segregate with uh, these particular gametes. And now these gametes are uh, crossed with these gametes and produces these kind of uh, gametes in F1 generation or first filial generation. And <clears throat> they uh, produce the uh, phenotypic expression that is uh, the main uh, thing. Okay. So, if we uh, observe the Punnett square here, so we get... So, we get small t, small t, capital T, capital T. So, capital T, small t, capital T, small t, capital T, small t, capital T, small t. So, 100% of the plants are now tall, okay. But they are mixed. They are, uh, they are heterozygous condition. Because in this, in the capital T, small t, in the capital T, small t, here we get two kinds of uh, two kinds of gametes uh, or two kinds of uh, genes that is the capital T and small t. So, here capital T small t both alleles are present but in case of gamete formation they are well separated from one another. So, this is the uh, thing of a uh, principle of segregation where uh, in both parents meiosis uh, formed the haploid gametes that contains only one copy of the gene. So, in the form of meiosis, this is the haploid gametes, okay. So, this is the haploid gametes and whenever those haploid gametes, so this is haploid, this is haploid, this is also haploid and this is also haploid. Whenever those haploid gametes are combined together, they are combined in diploid gametes. So, they are produced diploid gametes. So, all four of the of them are diploids and uh, those diploids are actually uh, responsible for ex expressing the phenotypic expression. Okay, so uh, they are producing in uh, diploid numbers. Hope uh, this video is helpful for you to understand the principle of segregation along with the meiosis. So, how meiosis is responsible for the uh, uh, process of principle of segregation. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.